Well, John Coons, man, the heirloom chemistry set on Kickstarter is kicking butt on Kickstarter. I mean, you've been there seven days and you made $50,000. Man, <laughs> now you can give your social security money back. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Well, what made you think of using Kickstarter for this? Well, I I have a, a customer that comes in here that did a Kickstarter project about two years ago, maybe a little longer, three years ago, and it was for a uh, rubber band shotgun kit. A rubber band shotgun kit? And yeah, racket and a shoot, and it holds up to ten rubber bands, and you can single fire, rapid fire, or full automatic. <laughs> and it's cut out of plywood with a laser cutter, and it's engraved, and he did a Kickstarter project on it, and his goal was to sell, oh, I don't even know what his goal was, but yeah. uh, he was selling, a, his, the, the pledge was thirty nine ninety five, and you got the complete kit, and he sold 50,000 of them. 50,000? Do the math. Wow. <laughs> Almost $2 million. How much of that? Almost $2 million. $2 million for a little rubber band gun or something. Shotgun, rubber band shotgun. And we sell them here in our store. Really? For it. How old but that's where I got the idea. What's that? Is he an older guy or young kid? Or no, what? he's younger than I am. Yeah. I mean, that's what I mean. what's so nice to meet you is that most people doing Kickstarter campaigns are like 25 years old or something like this, you know? And, and some little gadget, you know, that I can't even, wondering how the hell it works or whatever. <laughs> No, I've, uh, I, uh, that's, I kind of got, that's where I learned about it. Yeah. And uh, that had a lot of people because of the Make KC group and, and all those guys are yeah. kind of attuned to that. And they talked to me about it. And I just kind of decided, well, maybe I should try it. And then, like I said, it took over 13 months. Wow. So, well, now you're actually, your heirloom chemistry set is like a kid's chemistry set that every kid wished they had when <laughs> growing up. And you're making a real authentic one that is gorgeous because I, I just found out this chemistry set, you know, the wooden box that you make because your dad was a cabinet maker, huh? Yes, and a furniture builder, right? And a furniture. So you have that skill too. So you have this elegant, you know, case of a, whole like uh chemistry room inside this little cabinet <laughs> exactly right and the idea is that it can be shut up and locked and stored yeah. uh it's it has handles so you can carry it yeah. but it's very heavy yeah. when it's got everything in it i can't get over how i mean you know in seven days i mean you were hoping to get thirty thousand in like two months or something like that <laughs> Well, yeah, I ran it for 45 days. I probably should have only run it for 30, and that's why. Oh, yeah, you're going to get too much money. You're going to have all these problems with the bank and you know, getting the money, going to the bank. You know how much of trouble that is. Right, exactly. <laughs> so uh, it's, it's, it, it's been interesting to watch it and to see what happens. And I get lots of comments. What do you think is the reason why you were so successful so early in this campaign? I have no clue. I have no idea. <laughs> I, I, uh, I have the prototype sitting here in my store. It's not in the room here, but I have it in the store and people come in and they're, everybody looks at it and nobody ever asks any questions about it. And I go over and I talk to them and I tell them right. that this is going to be, we're going to do a Kickstarter project and they've been hearing that from me for months. I... <laughs> and, uh, and it's all of a sudden uh, people that I've been, like the mayor I mentioned to you, right. he saw the project. And um, he didn't even know, I could, he doesn't pay attention to his email apparently, and he didn't know that the project had launched, and one of our mutual friends was talking to him today, and I told him, and he said, I was blown away. <laughs> and I said, well, it's not like we were hiding it from you. <laughs> but no, I have no idea why it's successful. He's got to be mayor. But no, it's beautiful, and it's so elegant, and it looks so nice, and... Are you looking at a picture of it right now? Yeah, do you have one yet? No, I don't have one here, but the uh, if you're looking at a picture of it, you notice on the one side there's the door that has the engraving. Yes, and the, the insert. And that comes out. That just yeah. comes out. It's not hinged, and I it see. slides underneath in, underneath that shelf, and it makes, a, makes an extension yeah, to the shelf. A little platform. So right, and then you see the dowel rod that goes across yeah. on the left-hand side. Yeah. That's held in. That's held in place. It doesn't go through both sides. It's through one side, and then halfway through the other, 
and then there's a steel rod that goes into a hole and it comes with a magnet and you hold the magnet up there you pull the steel rod out and you slide the uh, dowel rod out of the way and you can get to all of your glassware all the glass i mean you have all the glassware there you you, you must have 20 or 30 bottles of stuff whatever i, I... there's uh, 66 bottles of chemicals and, six bottles of and those drawers will hold 108. And 108 bottles will hold? Hold 108 bottles. I'm going to see if I had one of my bottles here. So you're going to take our whole country and get every kid to be a scientist again. I'd love that. I'd love that. And one of the things we're doing, too, for the people who, uh, who have, have, want, have pledged for the level to get the, the whole box and everything, right. We're going to communicate with each one of them after the project's over, right. find out how it's going to be used because uh, we manufacture over 650 different chemicals. Wow. And many, of them are not, chemicals. many of them are not suitable for kids, uh -huh. okay? But so we'll, we'll talk to each one of them and find out what they're wanting to do with it and we suggest sub right. substitutes. So you could uh, switch the chemicals and give them a, a different array so they could have what they need to to blow up their own house or whatever they want to do the chemicals that come with it are there's there's 64 chemicals plus a bottle of pure water and a, bu a bottle of uh, alcohol fuel for the alcohol lamp but those are bigger bottles yeah. but the little bottles those are the same uh actually the original 57 chemicals listed in the ac gilbert chemistry manual entitled unfortunately entitled chemistry for boys I, <laughs> now that's against the stem stuff here <laughs> i know but it, it, but they had these chemicals listed in there and that's what my legacy chemical kit is I it's see. those chemicals plus eight others that i think are necessary mm -hmm. and but you could buy those original 56 chemicals from the ac gilbert company back in 1936 for six dollars and ten cents. All of them for six dollars oh. and ten. <laughs> wow. No, I mean this is so cool. I mean, but also to encourage, you know, scientists. I mean, our our economy and everything. Everybody wants to be an artist, and uh, you know, science is still very important. And, and well, I tell you what, art and science Same are like that. They're they're joined together. I'm an artist. Yeah. I draw. I paint when I have time. And I do woodworking. If that's not an art, I don't know what is. Right. Well, look at that cabinet. That's a, a piece of art that you've done with that cabinet alone. Yeah. No, I, I see nothing different. It's just that now, too, what that's where our future seems to be in developing new ideas is really uh, science related kind of things, you know, whether it's DNA or uh, whatever. And we, we need to. Yeah, you know, we're not encouraging enough kids, it seems, to go into these subjects. Well, I, it's sad, as I, we were talking earlier, yeah. science education in this country, I, I have a saying, my wife said, don't ever say that on television. But I have a, it's, it's science education in this country is just not what it should be. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, look at, I mean, all, all the kids that come here from China to go to school, I mean, like 90% of them, I forget the data, have perfect SAT scores, you know. I mean, this is what we have to compete with, you know, and, and this is where the action is. And if we don't get it and we're slipping down the road or slipping down, you know, the ladder in being innovative in this country, we used to be the leader and we're not anymore. Well, we, ha we have a country where 40 percent of the people in this country believe in ghosts. <laughs> And you, in the name of your store, your, your, your shop that has all this is HMS Beagle. And you, you had to teach this old guy who didn't realize that that was the ship <laughs> for the first real scientist, probably in, in, uh, in, in, I guess can't be the first real scientist. No, but, but he, you know, Charles Darwin was a very important scientist. Yeah. I mean, that this is right. And, and we're still fighting over that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but only in this country. You go, you go to Europe or Canada, and, and they're not. <laughs> right. Well, this is so terrific, and it's so good to have you, you know, in our country doing this, and and someone who's been around a little while to to see the importance of science, and and that we have to get our kids involved in this more. And you've made it so practical and easy and really beautiful, you know, in this car, uh, case you have to have your own little chemical laboratory, chemistry set. I mean, I remember the chemistry set. I didn't even know what the hell it was, but, you know, 
<laughs> I wish I did now and was more interested in that. So it's the heirloom chemistry set on Kickstarter. You already have $54,000 after like seven days. Now you're going to show up all, you all going to show up all these young kids out there. You know. I don't know about that. but <laughs> <laughs> And you got 40 more days to go, but you'll be actually uh, in your store, the hms-beagle.com is probably the best place to always find out about the Kickstarter program or where it starts now, and, or even to find you after the Kickstarter is over, hms-beagle.com. Yeah, you, John, and your wife, Carol, have this. And how long's the store been open? How long's the store? Uh, we opened in 2004. Oh, we just terrific. we just started our 10th year. Oh, good for you. And you're helping young people do all this stuff and and even old people like us, right? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Well, we had a science club meeting this morning for our K through third graders. We have a kids science club with over a thousand members. Wow. Well, good for you. Well, you're single-handedly going to turn us into an innovative country again. <laughs> Thank you so much, John. Thanks for being there. I appreciate it. Bye.